What up boys, this is Professional. Today we're going to be talking about how to be smart about getting gear in Destiny, legendary and exotic gear, and by this I mean choosing one approach to getting legendary and exotic gear so that you can be as effective as possible. A lot of times, personally, I find myself playing a Crucible match, picking up a new bounty, going on heroic missions, doing a strike with my buddies, and just having Destiny ADD and picking up, you know, whatever I want to do at the time, which is fine to do that because it's fun and it's an awesome game to play and just do whatever you want, but it's not the most effective way to get gear. So what I'm going to do is briefly go over every single way that you can possibly get exotic and legendary gear. And if you want more detail on these vendors, you can watch my previous video in which I talk about legendary and exotic gear. But today we're talking about being smart about how you get it. So right here we have the Crucible Quartermaster. He has legendary weapons and a couple speeder bikes, but more importantly, these weapons do a ton of damage. And then over here, we have the Crucible Handler, also has legendary gear, but this is armor. Then finally, down here in this place, we have the Vanguards, which have um, class-specific legendary gear, as you can see right here. So now let's head over to the ship bay and look at the clan vendors. So here we are coming into the tower hangar. This is where the Dead Orbit and Future War Cult clans hang out and they both carry exotic weapons and exotic armor. I'm going to briefly show you where they are. So as you can see, exotic weapons, exotic armor. This is Dead Orbit and I'm almost um, rank 1 and you need at least a rank 2 to get a Dead Orbit rank 2 to get any of this stuff and I talked about how to rank up in that in my previous video so check that out if you're interested in these specific vendors and up here is the future war cult I personally went for dead orbit because the future war cult has all the purple stuff and I would prefer black so but these have legendary weapons legendary armor as well so the last vendor that I haven't talked about and I'll just briefly mention him like I said is Zer, agent of the nine and he has exotic gear but he only shows up in the tower on weekends, so Friday through Sunday. And as of this recording, he's not here, so I can't show him to you, but check out my last video, he is in there. But the other, the final way to get legendary and exotic gear is by farming engrams. So you can farm them a couple different ways. There are a couple maps, single player maps or um, campaign maps that you can go to. And um, there are a couple of good spots where you can kill a bunch of enemies and then just kill yourself and do it over and over again. And you'll get tons and tons of engrams that way. The other way to get engrams, go after engrams, is just by playing the Crucible. You get them for rewards, you get them from... Um, doing well, I think, um, the best on your team and stuff like that. Um, but doing that approach, using that method, also gets you Crucible marks and increases your Crucible rank. So what that means is that you can be going after Engrams and going after the legendary gear of the, the Quartermaster or the, um, the two different clans that also require Crucible rank. So you can kind of choose a couple different paths to go down if you just play multiplayer by increasing your crucible mark or your um, getting crucible marks and increasing your crucible rank so that is a method a lot of I think personally I think the fastest way to get engrams is by farming them on a campaign mission and uh, you know a lot of people say it saps the fun out of the game and I kinda have to agree I personally don't do it quite that much just because it's so boring and if you really want the best stuff you could do it for hours and hours and probably get it but to me it's just not fun so my personal method of getting the most stuff is by playing the crucible because like I said you can kinda go after a couple different paths at the same time to get that tech you can get um, crucible marks you can increase your crucible rank and you also get engrams just by playing as rewards from your mission so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I think it really is a good mindset to get into when playing destiny if you can choose a couple different paths or one path to get that exotic gear that legendary gear and I think if you focus on one or two of those and don't have destiny ADD like I do then you can get some really good stuff very quickly and still have fun playing the game so let me know if you guys like this video let me know if you like this stuff this um, kind of different mindsets in playing destiny we'll see you next time thanks for checking in guys peace out